Hey guys, happy Friday. I am walking into Target and also going to the post office because I have to drop off um, an Etsy order that needs to go out right now. So it's so nice outside. It's probably like 76, 77 degrees. Uh, maybe a little hotter, but it feels really nice because there's a breeze. So, um, But I'm at Target because I have to pick up some stuff for Friendsgiving on Sunday. Um, also need to get my brother a birthday card because his birthday is on Sunday, but we're celebrating it on Saturday because he works. So, yeah. Target is always a good day. Or always a good start to the day, I should say, because it's like 11 a.m., so. Yay, 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 yay. Target, 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 Target. Here we go. Let's see if there's anything new in the dollar spot. I don't see anything new. Looks all the same so far. These are cute, though. Oh, they're heavy. I like the Wonder and Mary sign too. Let's see. Ooh, that's cool. I don't need sticky notes. Oh, this is actually a really good idea. I need to get paper for my brother's gift actually. Those chargers are new. I haven't seen those down there. I have most of this stuff though already. Put the cart here. Let's take a look over here. This is really cute. Oh, I bought one of these power packs. I will say they don't last very long. I bought this one, the holographic one. Um, they don't last super long. I like the rose gold one though. These are cute. Oh, that's cute. It's like a little gift set. Let's see. Nothing over here that's new. Still all the same. Um, also, this is like the best section to come if you need to get some bags because they have the two packs for a dollar, they have the bigger bags for one dollar. You can get like a tiny amount of wrapping paper if you only need to wrap a few things. They have boxes down here for three dollars. I mean, it's just a really good deal. This is really cute. Look at that. That's so adorable. Oh, these are nice. Look how pretty those colors are. I like those. Over here, they do have like a whole entire um, Hanukkah section this year, which is awesome. So if you guys are Jewish and you celebrate Hanukkah, consider coming because they have really cute stuff. And then they have like a whole section of like little kid stuff, like little gifts novelty chapsticks for one dollar they have bandages notepads books play packs down here they have some socks these are cute these coffee cups liquid cheer three bucks too it's really inexpensive oh look they have hanukkah glasses as well as like let's get elfed up wine stopper these are so cute flasks Party stuff down here, hats. I bought one of these, you guys. Go to the section and just feel this. It's like the most soft thing that I've ever felt in my life. It's so soft. Um, so yeah, they have, oh look, they have slippers. Seven dollars it says. And they have like the whole tech section. And over here they have some planning stuff. And then they have like cutesy decoration here. So like holographic tree right here. It is holographic, it's not showing up on the camera, but yeah. And then they have decor for it, little signs. There was a sign on the door when I walked in that said that they're testing the fire alarm, so if you guys hear random noises, it's they're testing the fire alarm. Then they have some more little cutesy grab bag stocking stuffer stuff over here. And like a whole Florida section. I don't know if every dollar spot has stuff like this, or maybe it's specific to like where you live, but they have like a Florida section, so. And probably the most unnecessary section to have in Florida because we never get snow or cold or anything but they have like ear warmers and blankets and all sorts of stuff more little gifts they have like a whole Star Wars section so cool this is neat Ow. mini walkie-talkies I wonder like how well they actually work though I think that's really cute I have a shirt that says this it says physically I'm here mentally in a galaxy far far away oh my gosh Patch. So cute. They have little buttons. These are cute. Very cute. Look at the eraser. 
Yeah, you guys definitely have to come and check this out. So I walked by the section and saw this and almost lost my mind. You guys, it's Chucky Finster, oh my god. It's Chucky. This is so cute. My goodness. And they have a Beast Boy. I think this would be like a real, how much is this? I don't know how much this is, I wanna check, but like, this would be so cute for me to get Ian as a joke because I always say that like, we should dress up as Beast Boy and Raven. <laughs> this is really cute. Guys, Arnold and Helga Pataki. I think that's her last name, right? Pataki? Stimpy, Ren and Stimpy. Oh my God, these are amazing. In the maybe 30 minutes of me being in that store, I walk outside and it's gotta be like 90 degrees. It was so nice and now it's so hot. <laughs> what happened? There's no way. Okay, so I'm in my car and according to Heads Up Display, it is 79 degrees outside. There's no way. That, there's no way. It's hot. It is hot outside. Hot, hot, hot. You guys will be super proud of me. I did not buy anything from Target that I didn't need. Um, not that that's a problem. Like, usually I'm really good with going to Target. And yeah, sometimes I'll get some cute stuff that like maybe was not on my list, but I only spent $29. Um, and it was all stuff that I needed, like eggs and water for Friendsgiving. And I got my brother a birthday card. So yeah, um, productive day at Target. My mom did call me while I was in Target. Oh, I also got my prescriptions. I got my insurance updated, so that's good. My mom called me while I was in Target and I have to do an airport run later. I just have to restructure because um, today my plan is to start cleaning the house, um, get some more boxes packed up and put away in my office. I have to film like two or three videos. I need to get one of those videos up online. Um, I have to edit a daily, like I have a huge list of things that I have to do today. No big deal, I can restructure. It won't take that long to do an airport run. So yeah, I just gotta, gotta get myself organized and get going. Um, I do wanna like just kinda say, um, I, I'm shocked that I'm kind of doing this. Like I'm kind of doing the whole work from home, be my own boss, like self-employed thing. Um, and that's a huge, part, huge in part thanks to you guys. Um, cause you guys have been supporting me in so many ways, whether it's watching my videos or just cheering me on on Twitter and like talking to me or buying something from my Etsy shop. I mean, you guys are literally making this a reality for me and I am so grateful. So thank you to those who are watching my videos and who are just sending me such kind messages and buying things and supporting me and my small business through Etsy. Like I just, it means so much and you guys are making something that I've always wanted to do a reality um, or at least somewhat of reality. I'm, I'm still trying to hammer it out and make sure that it's something that's viable but like, but honestly this is in part hugely because of you guys so thank you so much. I, I think about that all the time and I'm just like wow it's happening like I'm doing this. So I just finished filming um, three or four videos and Luna was barking the whole time because this woman for like at least 10 minutes was walking back and forth in front of my patio door right here just like walking back and forth on the phone and so Luna was losing her mind. Um, and there's nothing I can do because Luna just she just barks like that's just what she does I can put her in the other room and she'll still bark because she goes to the windows and she'll get up on the windows and look so It was so infuriating. I just wanted to open the door and scream at the woman like go away Like clearly you can hear and see my dog like leave go talk on the phone somewhere else <laughs> By the way, I just finished filming Luna is now calming down um, She's still waiting here thinking that they're gonna come back and walk by which they might but um, now it's three o'clock, so I finished filming. I edited two daily videos and they're already up on the channel. Um, I have to get my video edited and upload. Where did I already upload today? I don't think I did. I don't think I did. I got a video. I think I have to get a video up on my main channel. I'm getting like, my whole brain is convoluted today. Um, and then I have to work on some Etsy orders and get a couple new items up. Um, do you hear that, Luna? Do you guys hear that? Is that coming from upstairs? Okay, I don't know if you guys can hear it in the camera, but like, I cannot wait to move because whoever moved in upstairs and next to us are so loud, like constantly banging from the ceiling. Right now there's music blasting. And oh, where is it coming from? They always are banging around really loud and obnoxiously. Right now, someone's blasting music. This is like, at least they're blasting it right now when I stopped filming, but like, 
Why? Like, I can't wait to move. I can't wait to move. Here, more right here. I think it is coming from upstairs. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Like, it's just so obnoxious. Like, I'm so mad right now. It's so loud. God, I can't wait to move. I'm so, Luna, I'm so happy that we're moving. Because that is so obnoxious. So I'm sitting here trying to edit. I want you guys to hear what I'm hearing. Okay, well, just a moment ago, they were banging around so much stuff upstairs. I mean, the music is blasting. I don't know how well you guys can hear it. Do you hear all that? It's just consistent, like it doesn't stop. I called the front office and I complained. Um, it's still happening, like it's just, I don't know if they called them and said something. It's just like obnoxious, I'm trying to work and it's so distracting. I don't know how well you're gonna hear it now with my AC going, but there's so much noise happening upstairs right now. It's so loud, like it's so, like what? I've already called the front office. Like, what am I supposed to do? Save from walking up there myself and complaining and causing a problem. Like, they must not go to work during the day either. Because this happens every day. And I know I've complained about it a couple times now. I just don't under- like, I don't understand. So this is the third night in a row that I'm having gnocchi for dinner. Um, last night and the night before I had sweet potato gnocchi. And tonight I'm having regular. Alright you guys, um, it's I think almost midnight. No, it's 11.40, so Ian and I are going to bed. He's got to get up at like 4 in the morning to go to work, so... Um, nothing ever happened, by the way, with the people living above us. Um, I called the front office and they never told them to stop because it just continued for like hours. So, um, if, it does, if they do it again tomorrow, I'm going to call again. But, I don't know, we'll see. I'm going to go to bed, so I'll see you guys tomorrow.